the lean bulk, really the ideal calorie increase is 200 per day. So if your maintenance is 2,500, um, you will see the best results eating around 2,700. That's really where you're able to maximize muscle growth, but you're not gaining fat. Now you might start at a 200 calorie increase and you might, okay, you might be like, oh shoot, you know, my weight's plateaued for a month or for two weeks, then you might jump up by 200. Um, those are people that have more adaptive metabolism. So some people, they have, they're very, if they increase their calories beyond maintenance, their body responds and they start burning more calories. Those are r rarer. Most people tend to, through our environmental conditions and our genetic code, we're able to gain weight easily. Um, if you think about it, like if you, if your ancestors grew up in very harsh conditions where there would be food shortages, then it was important that when food was there, we could gain weight easily and, and eat a lot of food and put on weight. But people that were in uh, environments where food was very readily available all the time, um, they weren't living in harsh winters, well then their body didn't have that necessity to store as many calories and, and gain as much weight. Um, just something to keep in mind. But so generally speaking, you want to start with a 200 calorie surplus and then adjust from there. So if you know, after you're gaining weight, but after a couple months it plateaus and you're, then you can increase it by 200. There may be an advantage to doing five days in a bigger surplus. So for example, you might do five, let's say your maintenance is 2,600. You might do five days in a row at 2,900, 3,000, and then go two days around 23, 2,400, um, just to kind of optimize that, the benefits of being higher calorie and then going to low calorie and vice versa. So, you, you know, the option's really up to you if you like to do that. If you find it easier just to keep it the same every day, do that, but there can be an advantage to going a bit higher five days and then going into a deficit two days. Um, but again, you want to average out um, per week about a 1400 calorie surplus. Um, and funny, interestingly enough, like it doesn't take as many calories to build a pound of muscle as it does to build a pound of fat. Some research shows a pound of muscle requires 2800 calorie surplus. So um, 1400 calorie weekly surplus is great. And the body can really gain um, of pure muscle Water weight is considered lean mass, but really of muscle tissue, the body can gain two pounds per month. So a, a 1400 calorie weekly surplus, about 200 calories average per day is as optimal as it gets. So if you are doing a 2000 calorie surplus over five days by doing 400 calorie surplus, that's 2000. And then the other two days, you'd want to eat at a 300 calorie deficit. So if you're 2600 is your maintenance, you go 3000 five days in a row, and then on two days in a row, you go 2,300. Um, I find that does work better, doing the five days higher and then two days lower. It really just optimizes those five days, your body's really building muscle, and then the two days your body can burn off fat. It's hard for your body to do uh, two things at once, gain muscle, lose fat. So by having five days to really focus on, on the recomp strategy, fat loss, two days focus on muscle, or five days really for getting bigger, two days for leaner, it tends to work a little bit better.